Last week here on Thursday Night Thunder, son of a digger took on Monster Makuto in the final round of week three of the December season. However, Walker Stevens and son of a digger refuses to let go of the checkered flag and currently remains 12-0 in the December season. Is he going to be able to hold on to the checkered flag here tonight for a fourth time? We're going to find out next. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. that subscribe button, turn on all your notifications, and stay up to date with what everything MTA has to offer, because tonight, 16 of the best die-cast monster trucks are going head-to-head -to, -head to throw it down. They're trying to conquer Son of a Digger in the overall point standings and take away the checkered flag. Like we said in the intro of the show, Son of a Digger is 12-0 and and is trying to take home that checkered flag for a fourth week in a row in the December season. As we get set to take a look at round one matchups, up first, we're going to see Medusa take on T-Max, followed by Bigfoot taking on Monster Mutt Poodle, who made it to the finals last week. Then we're going to see Little Miss Dangerous take on the Monster Patrol Chevrolet, followed by Brodozer taking on Gas Monkey in the first half of round one. Over on the other side of the bracket, Jurassic Attack and Black Stallion. Hawk will take on Dragonoid Blue Thunder and Monster Mutt Husky and to close out round one action. It's going to be Rudy Zilogy and Rage taking first crack at Son of a Digger. Now as we get round one underway, we're going to see Raylan Mullins in the Medusa Ford ready to rock and roll here in week four. Now set to take on Nathaniel Wiggins and T-Max. The kid has been making some great runs out here on the Thursday Night Thunder circuit. He's getting that brand new truck dialed in tonight. Might just be his night if he can keep it underneath of him and on all four tires. Two forward stage on the line. Who's going to round two? Green light goes down. Medusa and T-Max even them a stretch. Coming over. No man's laying down. It's cross. Medusa goes over in the far lane. And T-Max gets the win here in round one. We're going to go down and show you a photo finish of what happened across the finish line. Raylan Mullins hit that jammer stack and flipped end over end there. Let's go down to a photo finish. It isn't by much, but inches. T-Max gets the win over the Medusa machine. Up next here in round two competition, we've got none other than downtown Mitch Brown out of Pacific, Missouri and Bigfoot. The veteran coming to the line in the big bad port. He draws up against last week's finalist, Violet Craddock, the former one-time Thunder champion. Monster Mutt Poodle ready to go in the far lane. She's trying to make it to the finals here tonight and get that second Thunder championship, but she has to knock off the eight-time Thunder veteran in Bigfoot. Who's going wrong to round two? Green light goes down. Bigfoot got her off the line. Now up and over the third jump. Bigfoot with a mistake. And the Poodle will capitalize there over the finish line. Violet Craddock and the Poodle puts the longtime veteran on the trailer. A mistake made by Bigfoot over that first jump cost him the win. Here in round one, nonetheless, the Poodle will move on. Up next in round one, the rookie Savannah Zilogy. Little Miss Dangerous, the 1941 Willie's coming to the line to take on the veteran. Brian Prazak, the Monster Patrol Chevrolet at a Portage, Indiana, ready to go here in the near lane. He's looking to get his first Thunder Championship, but the old 41 Willie's has been looking strong here in the Thunder season of December. Who's going on to round two now? Boat truck stage, here's the green light down the straight track. They're dead even now, up and over the first car. And Little Miss Dangerous. Make it easy work of Monster Patrol. And Brian Prazak in the near lane had a little bobble there over that first jump, and it costed him the win here in round one. Little Miss Dangerous Savannah Zilogy moving on to round two competition. But up next, the veteran, wild man Ryan Johnson and Brodos are the former six time Thursday Night Thunder champion returning to the line to take on. Jason Craddock, who debuted this brand new ride at the beginning of the December season. Cast Monkey over here in the far lane. Two-time Thunder champion is Jason Craddock ready to go. These two have battled it out many times before. Who's going to round two? Gas Monkey and Brodos are now down the straight track. Looks like Brodos are had to leave with Gas Monkey coming back on him in the car. It's close. 
What a save by Brodos are going across the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. That was incredibly close. We're going to take you down to our MTA replay and try to figure out who came across that finish line first. Right here off the start, Ryan Johnson gets a jump on him, but watch Gas Monkey now starting to close the gap on the far lane side. Right here they go up and over No Man's Land. Gas Monkey with some big time air. Watch Johnson here over the finish line, and it's going to be close, but the Brodos machine gets the win. An incredible save as well. Gas Monkey will go on the track. Trailer. Next up in round one competition, Caden Wilson bringing the Jurassic Attack machine to the line. He's been having some issues with the truck all season long. Hopefully he's got his mess nice and tight here in week four of the December season. However, there you see what's left of Joey Andrews and the Black Stallion Ford at a Hagerstown, Maryland. A couple of rollovers this season. The body is off the truck. The crew's got him back in action with just a chassis showing. Who's going to round two? Black Stallion, Jurassic Attack, green light goes down now. Stallion's going to come back on Jurassic over the car. And Joey Andrews pulls it out from a come from behind win over Jurassic Attack. What a race it was. Caden Wilson had a lead on him the whole way down, but Joey Andrews pulls the trigger across the finish line. A great race nonetheless. Black Stallion does move on. Next up, the Incredible Hawk, driven by Hunter Craddock, a former two-time Thunder champion. The truck debuted just last month, and it's been running good for him. He's got it dialed in. However, Aaron Church and Dragonoid, he's got that brand new chassis up underneath of him. It's been working good for him as well as he's getting it dialed in, and the crew's been thrashing on it, making sure he's at 100%. Who's going to round two here? Hawk and Dragonoid stage. Green light goes down now off the line. They're dead even now. Hawk pulled the lead. Dragonoid's coming back on. Hawk turns it over and Aaron Church and Dragonoid getting the round one win. A mistake there by the Incredible Hulk hitting the jammer stack in the far lane. Flipped him over and Hulk will go on the trailer. What an upset right there, ladies and gentlemen, as it seems the Hawks been running so strong. But next up, Matthew Riley and Monster Mutt Husky ready to come back and get a little revenge. He's now set to take on Charlie Stevens in the Blue Thunder Ford over here in the near lane. He got his crack at Son of a Digger just a couple of weeks ago. You can guarantee he wants that shot yet again. He's got to go through Husky now. Green light goes down. Blue Thunder and Husky down the stretch. Husky got to leave. Blue Thunder coming back on him. And Husky turns it over. Matthew Riley getting into the jammer stack in the far lane. It's a steep jump and it's been tripping up those trucks over there in that far lane as he sets it on the rear end. Nonetheless, Blue Thunder is your winner as we go back and take a look. Right there, Blue Thunder got him off the line, but watch Riley there in the far lane coming back on him. Almost a half a truck lead. They fly high up and over no man's land. Riley pogos it on the rear end and sends it over into that ramp on the side of the car stack. Flips him end over end nonetheless. Blue Thunder is your winner. And now we close out round one with the kid that everybody's talking about. Walker Stevens, it's son of a digger. Now a five-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. He gets to take on Rudy Zilogy in Rage. And that guy has won bad seed out here. He's been throwing it down all season long. There you see the truck a little bit tore up. The crew's got him back and ready to go. Can he dethrone the champion? Green light goes down now. Chevrolet in the near lane down the stretch. Up and over the car. And Walker Stevens gathers it up and keeps the flag on the back of Son of a Digger. The pressure may have got to Rudy Zilogy. He crossed up there in no man's land and sent it for the van stack. Son of a Digger is now 13 and 0 here in the December season. And what great action we just had in round one. Is Son of a Digger gonna be able to hold on? We're gonna find out because round two action is coming up next. For you guys that wanna join up in the MTA series, listen up because we're about to tell you just how to sign up for one of these events. What's going on MTA fans? If you're looking to get in on the action right here on the MTA YouTube channel, look no further. I'm about to tell you guys just how you can sign up to get in one of these races. Head over to the link in our description and that's going to take you right over to our Facebook page where we hold registration for all of the MTA events. And hey, while you're there, crush that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything that MTA is doing. From new custom truck builds to special events and giveaways, you don't want to miss any of the great action MTA has to offer. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Back now with round two action here on Thursday Night Thunder. Son of a Digger still holding on to the flag, but up first in round two, T-Max is going to take on the last week's finalist in Poodle. Little Miss Dangerous is going to take on Brodozer on the other side of the bracket. Black Stallion will take on Dragonoid, and then the father-son rematch, Blue Thunder and Son of a Digger to close out round two. But up first, Nathaniel Wiggins 
The kid's been running strong all season. He's a little bit of a sleeper here. He's getting the truck dialed in. However, last week's finalist, Violet Craddock, Monster Mutt Poodle, wants to go back to the finals, but this time get a second Thunder Championship. Who's going on the semifinal competition? T-Max in the far lane, Poodle in the near lane. Green light goes down, now they're off to a good start. Poodle with a slight lead, now onto the car. T-Max coming back and what a close race. Both of them trying to shut it down right there into the backflip ramp. What an incredible race, ladies and gentlemen. Both drivers throwing it down. Let's go down and check out our MTA replay and try to figure out who got the racing win here. Both drivers cut a great light off the start. Poodle has a slight lead in the near lane, but watch T-Max as they go up and over no man's lane here. Both trucks making a clean run at it right here at the finish line, and it's going to be T-Max by inches over the Poodle in that far lane. What an incredible race by two great drivers, but now we move on with round two. It's the return of the wild man, former six-time Thunder champion, Ryan Johnson Brodozer, now set to take on the rookie, Savannah Zilogy in that 1941 Willys. Little Miss Dangerous ready to go here in the near lane. Rookie versus veteran here in round two. Who's going on the semis to meet up with T-Max? Boat truck stage. Green light going down now off the line. Little Miss Dangerous with a slight lead. Brodos are trying to come back. Little Miss Dangerous goes over in the near lane. Hitting the jammer stack. What an incredible race. Ryan Johnson tried to play catch up, but Little Miss Dangerous is your winner here in round two over the Brodozer. What a great race that was, ladies and gentlemen. But next up, Aaron Church returns in the Dragonoid machine. He's looking for championship number two out here on Thunder. But the kid who's looking for championship number one, the Black Stallion Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland, making its last ride here in the December season as they get set to debut a brand new Black Stallion for 2023. Both trucks now staged at the line. Who's going to semis? Green light goes down now. Ford the Dragonoid down the straight track. They're dead even now. Dragonoid pulling the lead, turns it over. Aaron Church in trouble, rolls the truck over across the finish line. He will put Black Stallion on the trailer, but what a ride for Dragonoid in the far lane, ladies and gentlemen. As we go back and take another look here, Black Stallion got him off the line, trying to hold it down in the near lane, but watch Dragonoid coming back on him in the far lane, flies high over no man's land, gets a little bobbled up, trying to gather it up there in the shutdown area, just didn't have enough. Dragonoid does move on if the crew can get him back into round two action, but first, we head down now to the pits to take a look and see if Dragonoid is going to be able to make it back. As the crew's down there thrashing on it, they got him off the track as well as Little Miss Dangerous. Rudy Zilogy down there thrashing with Savannah Zilogy and the crew. They're trying to get Little Miss Dangerous back here for semifinal competition as they took a roll here in round two. These guys are thrashing. A lot of drama going on down there in the pits. They should have no problem being able to make it back, however. Now to close out round two competition, it's the rubber match. Walker Stevens, the five-time Thunder champion, 13-0 out here in the December season and holding on to the checkered flag, gets a rematch against dear old dad and Blue Thunder, who met with him in the finals a couple of weeks ago. Blue Thunder wants redemption. He wants the checkered flag. Is son of a digger going to bobble up and lose it here tonight? In round two, green light goes down off the line. Son of a digger starts to pull the lead over the car, and what a race it is. But Walker Stevens now turns it over off that backflip ramp, trying to shut it down. He had his foot to the floor, trying to beat out his proud papa over there in the far lane. I do believe Blue Thunder fell short, and son of a digger is your winner. And what a crazy matchup that was, Blue Thunder on the trailer. But folks, I want to remind you that this Saturday, Christmas Eve, December 24th, 32 of the best trucks come together for Holiday Havoc, all trying to be champion as Bounty Hunter is in this event and was last year's champion. We're going to see if he can hold on to that Holiday Havoc title. But now semifinals coming your way in week four of the December season. T-Max, Nathaniel Wiggins takes on Little Miss Dangerous and Savannah Zilogy in our first matchup. Then we're going to see Aaron Church and Dragonoid take on the champion, Son of a Digger and Walker Stevens behind the wheel. But in our first matchup, the kid that's been making a lot of noise this season in his brand new truck. Nathaniel Wiggins and T-Max ready to go here against Savannah Zilogy. Little Miss Dangerous who turned it over in round two. The crew got her back and is ready at 100% over here in the near lane. The 1941 Willys ready to go. Who's going to the finals in week four of the December season? T-Max in the far lane. Little Miss Dangerous in the near lane. Boat truck stage now. Green light going down. Who's going to the finals down the stretch? They're dead even now. Open up the car. It's close. And what a way to end out the race ladies and gentlemen what a wild finish as they're both barely across the finish line that was too crazy to call from up here in the booth 
Let's go back down now to our MTA replay. Right there off the line, Boat Truck's making a great light off the start. They are pretty much even all the way down the straight stretch. Watch Savannah Zilgi here in the near lane get crossed up. T-Max in the far lane with a hard pogo. And right there, backwards, T-Max gets the win over Little Miss Dangerous. What a way to end out the first half of semifinals. Nonetheless, T-Max is your winner. What a wild race, ladies and gentlemen. Now we close out semifinals. The champion, Walker Stevens, the son of a digger, returns. The checkered flag still intact. Aaron Church is the challenger here. As he rolled the truck over in round two competition, the crew's got him back, but is he at 100%? Walker Stevens, and son of a digger, 14-0 this December season. is tonight here in semis. Going to be the end of the streak. Boat truck stage. Here's the green light down down the straight stretch. Now son of a digger pulled a slight lead dragon on trying to come back. And it doesn't have enough. And son of a digger goes to the finals for the fourth week in a row. Checkered flag intact. And now we start to question if this kid can be beat out here on Thunder. What a wild race that was, ladies and gentlemen. But now it's time for the finals. Son of a digger meets T-Max for the second time in the December season in the finals. Nathaniel Wiggins, again, we were talking about this kid earlier and how much of a sleeper he could be. T-Max running strong, but Walker Stevens now 15-0 here in the December season on Thunder, trying to hang on to that checkered flag for a record fourth week in a row. It's time for the finals, ladies and gentlemen, T-Max. Son of a digger! It's showtime here on Thunder Down the Stretch! Son of a digger with a slight lead! T-Max coming back out of the cross from finish line! What a race across the line there, folks! T-Max didn't give an inch to Son of a Digger! Walker Stevens got a little crossed up over the last set of cars, and the streak may be conquered here tonight! Let's go down to our replay! Son of a Digger and Walker Stevens got T-Max off the line, holding out a slight lead up and over no man's land here, but watch him get crossed up! To the line here, T-Max comes back on him, and what a race, but T-Max has declared the winner and ends the streak in the December season. What a wild finish. The champ has been dethroned, and congratulations to Nathaniel Wiggins and T-Max on your first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at the overall point standings in week four of the December season in the lower half of the bracket, Drastic Attack, Monster Mutt Husky, Bigfoot, and Monster Patrol holding down the lower half of the points chase. However, once we jump over to the top half, Walker Stevens and Son of a Digger still holds down the lead now with 230 points after getting the first three-week win here in the December season. But with tonight's win, Nathaniel Wiggins and T-Max moves up with 165 points and rounding out your top three, Violet Craddock, Boston Mutt Poodle with 160 points. I thank you guys so much for coming out and watching week four of the December season right here. Son of a Digger has been beaten here tonight as T-Max carries the checkered flag into week five of the December season. We hope you enjoyed the great racing action here tonight. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flashbulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, it's what it's all about, signing all the raps until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that. It's been a long time. Uh -huh.